<laughs> okay, so let's park the topic of learning Swift and now look at the future of Swift, which of course, since uh, Swift 2 has been evolution. Uh, and it's a massive community effort. And we're seeing what almost 300 evolution proposals now have gone through. Most accepted, implemented, many rejected, some deferred or whatever. But there's been a lot, a lot, a lot of amazing community feedback. Um, and I think something I've seen a, a few times is whenever a major thing lands, like uh, property wrappers or um, mm -hmm. anything like that, and dynamic member lookup, whatever it is, um, folks will say things like, oh, this is it. This is the straw that broke the camel's back or whatever. Um, Swift's getting too complex now. Though. It's almost Swift is the, is, is the new C++ or something like that. What's your response to that? Um, so... I think that people that say that haven't spent much time with C++, first of all. <laughs> um, I have a lot of respect for C++, but let's just say it, it ain't getting simpler. Um, it's getting way more complicated very quickly, um, which, given where we're starting from, is saying a lot. Um, I think that there's, there's real concerns there, and I think that sometimes it gets there are some missed concerns. So... I think there is a real concern, right? We need to be careful about how much complexity we put in, and we have to look at what does it do to the uh, cognitive ability of Swift programmers to get their jobs done, right? One of the challenges that, that I see in the Swift Evolution community is that Swift Evolution is populated by language geeks, <laughs> right? And language geeks are not, uh, you know, they, they, they like new things. They like they like new toys to play with. They like designing language language-y things. And, um, most users don't necessarily get the same value out of the feature that the designer might might look for. Right? Mm -hmm. So I think that we have to be very cognizant of that, and I think that's one of the things that the Swift core team tries to do in terms of provide long-term governance and long-term uh, vision for the language and try to try to rein some of that kind of stuff in. And so it's definitely not the case that any idea is a good idea. I think that there's an increasingly high bar for certain things. Um, on the other hand, I think that some of the features you pick property wrappers um, have the potential to simplify the language. So property wrappers, um, one of the nice things that they do is they make built-in compiler features like lazy um, accessible to the Swift programmer. And so if we can take hard-coded language features that otherwise are special cases and have to be taught independently and make them accessible and extensible, then you are absolutely making language more complicated, but you're also making it more uniform. And so by doing this, you're turning uh, you know, lazy as a language feature into lazy as a library feature. And the cost of library features in terms of complexity is just much lower. And so I think that the more that we can do that, the more that we can introduce um, uh, boulder, conceptual boulders into the world that then eat up a lot of the gravel that gets spread around. <laughs> you can you can you can kind of consolidate a bunch of loosely held ideas into one thing that then can be explained. And with that I think that you can actually get to a simpler language. And those those are the features that I personally really like to see. Right? And that, that comes back to the you know control flow statements should be expressions kind of a thing as well. Um, and so I think I think it really depends. Now on the other hand, a lot of a lot of the evolution proposals are standard library enhancements. I think those are really low cost um, and and that's definitely needed. Like we, we should have a stronger standard library. I think that certain of the features uh, recently are very particular nitpicky little things that don't add a lot of complexity, but they also, they clarify certain corners of the language. Um, there's this recent proposal about atomics that is talking about the memory consistency mod, the, me the memory consistency uh, model of the programming language and how it interfaces with C code and blah, 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 like this extremely narrow thing that, um, people who care really care, but people who don't don't have to even think about. Right? And so, I think that what I will what I would look forward to is a few more of these boulders coming in. So things like uh, concurrency support, I think, is a pretty big uh, boulder. I think that the type system enhancements to get uh, move semantics and uh, um, ownership types in, so that we can get uh, lower level programming, things like that. I think those are things that uh, will be really important boulders that need to land and then they'll cause a lot of simplification around them yeah certainly i remember reading um i think it was joe groff so who asked him you know will swift ever become self-hosting and his answer was that to make swift the compiler written in swift 
he'd, he'd, he'd want to see more language features added to Swift that would only be really good for compilers. He thought it wouldn't necessarily be a good fit to have that because it would clutter up Swift with compilery things. Uh, you know, speak of language nerds wanting language stuff. Well, there's also compiler nerds want compilery things in there. And he didn't think it was necessarily a good idea. Not, not ruling it out, but as it stands, it would yeah. need things changing. Yeah, well, so, so there is a social concern, which is if you have the compiler... So I, I don't know that I necessarily agree with him. I think that was that was a huge risk years ago. I, I think that's less of a risk now. But the, the concern there is if you have the, the language implementers and language designers, you're conflating their needs. And you're saying, hey, well, think about how to make implementing the compiler simpler. You'll get those compiler feature, compiler implementation features in the language, exactly. which you otherwise wouldn't necessarily add. Right. And so I think that that is more of a concern years ago than it is today, perhaps. But um, but. I think now it's really a question of uh, engineering resources, the trade-off between like, okay, let's start over from scratch versus let's incrementally add a new thing. Starting over from scratch is great for purity, but it doesn't actually help Swift developers, at least not that much directly. So yeah, that's, that's an interesting tension.